because of Winn-Dixie, Chapter 9. Just about everything that happened to me that summer happened because of Winn-Dixie. For instance, without him, I would have never met Gloria Dump. He was the one who introduced us. What happened was this. I was riding my bike home from Gertrude's Pets, and when Dixie was running along beside me, we went past Dunlap and Stevie Dewberry's house, and when Dunlap and Stevie saw me, they got on their bikes and started following me. They wouldn't ride with me. They just rode behind me and whispered things that I couldn't hear. Neither one of them had any hair on his head, because their mama shaved their heads every week during the summer because of the one time Dunlap got fleas in his hair from their cat, Sadie. And now they looked like two identical bald-headed babies even though they weren't twins. Dunlap was 10 years old, like me, and Stevie was nine and tall for his age. I can hear you, I hollered back at them. I can hear what you're saying, but I couldn't. When Dixie started to race way ahead of me, you better watch out, Dunlap hollered. That dog is headed right for the witch's house. When Dixie, I called, but he kept on going faster and hopped a gate and went into the most overgrown jungle of a yard that I had ever seen. You better go get your dog out of there, Dunlap said. The witch will eat that dog, Stevie said. Shut up, I told him. I got off my bike and went up to the gate and hollered, When Dixie, you better come out of there. But he didn't. She's probably eating him right now, Stevie said. He and Dunlap were standing behind me. She eats dogs all the time. Get lost, you bald-headed babies, I said. Hey, said Dunlap, that ain't a very nice way for a preacher's daughter to talk. He and Stevie backed up a little. I stood there and thought for a minute. I finally decided that I was more afraid of losing Winn-Dixie than I was of having to deal with a dog-eating witch. So I went through the gate and into the yard. That witch is going to eat the dog for dinner and you for dessert, Stevie said. Well, the preacher, well, we'll tell the preacher what happened to you, Dunlap shouted after me. But then I was deep in the jungle. There was every kind of thing growing everywhere. There were flowers and vegetables and trees and vines. When Dixie, I said, Heh, 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 I heard. This dog sure likes to eat. I went around a really big tree, all covered in moss, and there was Win Dixie. He was eating something right out of the witch's hand. She looked up at me. This dog sure likes peanut butter, she said. You can always trust a dog that likes peanut butter. She was old with crinkly brown skin. She had on a big floppy hat with flowers all over it. And she didn't have any teeth. But she didn't look like a witch. She looked nice. And when Dixie liked her, I could tell. I'm sorry he got in your garden, I said. You ain't got to be sorry, she said. I enjoy a little company. My name's Opal, I told her. My name's Gloria Dump, she said. Ain't that a terrible last name? dump. My last name is Baloney, I said. Sometimes the kids at school back home in Watley called me lunch meat. Ha! Gloria Dump laughed. What about this dog? What you call him? When Dixie, I said. When Dixie thumped his tail on the ground, he tried smiling, but it was hard with all his mouth all full of peanut butter. When Dixie, Gloria Dump said, you mean like the grocery store? Yes, ma'am, I said. Whoo-wee, she said. That takes the strange name prize, don't it? Yes, ma'am, I said. I was just fixing to make myself a peanut butter sandwich. And she said, you want one too? All right, I said. Yes, please. Go and sit down, she said, pointing to a lawn chair with all the back busted out of it. But sit down careful. I sat down careful and Gloria Dupp made me a peanut butter sandwich on white bread. Then she made one for herself and put her false teeth in to eat it. When she was done, she said to me, You know my eyes ain't too good at all. I can't see nothing but the general shape of things. So I got to rely on my heart. Why don't you go on and tell me everything about yourself so as I can see you with all my heart? And because when Dixie was looking up at her like she was the best thing he had ever seen, and because the peanut butter sandwich had been so good, and because I had been waiting for a long time to, sell some per to tell some person everything about me, I did.